This is Alex Farrell and you're watching Sporting Icons. Alex, as always, always good to see you. Good to see you too, good to see you too, a long time. It has been a while actually, yeah. Uh, it really has and uh, every time I see, see um, you on Instagram, you're away abroad somewhere. Well, uh, yes, I uh, actually I, I had my uh, two or three fights at, you, you, I think, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I saw you there, so that's why it was a bit of time as well. But uh, yeah, when I went abroad, I was either like in Spain to train or I fought in uh, France and yeah, that's... Back home uh, yeah, back home as well, yes, of course. Anyway, you've got um, a fight date. What day is that? 29th of June and uh, Spain Legends Centre. Can't wait to be back. Now, you've signed up with uh, Mo Pryor now. Yeah. Um, what was the thought behind that move? Yeah, I was looking for a um, next move and I had a talk with um, Mo Pryor and uh, Dave. And um, it looked the best move for me to move forward and uh, that's where we are. Now, I like when you knock people out, but uh, you're a very, very good boxer, aren't you? I like to box. I like to. I like to box. But uh, when we see the knockout, of course, we take away. Every boxer loves a knockout. That is true. Although, are you gonna knock knock out the next guy for me? This one? I, I, I don't uh, look for it. <laughs> Last time you asked for it, and you you got that. And uh, well, yeah, I'll go in, uh, do the best uh, I do, and uh, if the knockout comes, I'll take it for sure. Now. Those who haven't seen you fight, shame on you. You should definitely be watching Alex Farrell fight. Uh, you're a very, very exciting fighter. Um, you know, you like to come forward, you like to pressure, uh, you're a good mover, and you can certainly punch a bit. But um, you have sparred some real top lads in that as well, haven't you? And given a good count of yourself. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, f and the first thing is that I like to adapt uh, into the fight, so it depends what you have in front of you, and I adapt and... Uh, if you want to move, I can move. If I need to box, I'll box. And if I'll trade, I'll trade. And uh, that's that's what boxing is—a chess match. You need to be able to do everything. Uh, as a sparring, yes, of course. Uh, I'm, uh, I've sparred uh, plenty of uh, good level uh, fighters. Um, of course, of course, here in the northeast, uh, Troy, uh, a few other guys. I, I've sparred Eubank before. I sparred uh, my friend Michel Soro, who's number number ten in the world or something. Uh, a few of them, a few of them, yes. So, your next fight, um, do you have an opponent yet? Yes, uh, I don't remember his name, he's from Czech Republic, Czech Republic so it's difficult to pronounce the, the names. Uh, but he has got a 50-50 record, so he's definitely coming to win. And uh, it will be good for me. I saw he's got a, a good compact style, I saw a few videos. Um, he, it's a bit more difficult to look good with him because he's... He, he doesn't throw too much to be open, but he throws enough to hurt you. He's got few knockouts as well. It, 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 as I said, you have to be able to adapt, so I'll, I'll do that. Definitely. Now, I always enjoy watching you fight, you know I do. I appreciate um, it. So, you're still living in Newcastle, but still uh, training down in the uh, usual place, and with the same team, you haven't changed teams, everything's the same. Uh, Dave Bean, Steve Lamb, Caroline's over there. Same team. Uh, if if it's not broken, don't fix it. Now, you so say you're one of the very rare boxes that uh, you sell tickets, even though some of them don't turn up because uh, you sell them, as in you've got like a lot of fam uh, family, friends, and that in Greece and that where they all support you even if they can't attend. Yes, absolutely, and uh, it's amazing. It's amazing the support I get from uh, the Greek people. Uh, they do really support me, and uh, because they won't support me and see me do things big things in uh, in this sport uh they support me with uh buying a ticket so to make sure that i have covered the expenses and all that as you know the professional boxing is and uh, yes they do support me over there but uh i'm a very honored to have also the the support from the people in the northeast and um, people in peter lee and newcastle and around the, the northeast uh, taking tickets uh, and bank tickets for me to come and see me here. And also Greek people around the UK uh, message me and come to see me fight as well. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. It'd be nice to reward them with um, a couple of belts hanging over your shoulder. Yeah, absolutely, that's what we're looking for. I will get this out of the way, go first, and uh, that's what we're looking for next. And who's gonna win Euro 2024? What's that? Who's gonna win Euro 2024? Uh, uh, I don't have I don't have a clue. I don't I don't even watch football to be honest. <laughs> no. 
Well, we're going to say England then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Alex, good to see you as always. Good to see you too and can't wait to be back. Uh, I want to thank uh, all my sponsors for supporting me. Uh, it means a lot, uh, every single one of them. Uh, Recruit Riot for being in my uh, back from, since the beginning. And uh, of course, everyone buying tickets to support me and uh, see me fight and slowly but surely we'll get uh, where we want to be. Thank you.